in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I will give you four indices that will measure thank you guys that are measures of your spiritual growth you will know tonight whether you are growing you will know whether your church is growing you will know whether your family is growing spiritually ready number one the first parameter to measure spiritual growth as given by God is your love life your love life write it down your love life first john chapter 4 a long reading 7 to 21 first john chapter 4 from verse 7 to 21 the first parameter to measure your growth in the kingdom is your love life everybody say my love life i don't mean love like love you know what i'm talking about love god and men let's read what the bible says beloved let us love one another for God is love and everyone that loveth is what? Born of God and knoweth God. Don't tell me you know God if I cannot see it in your love life. There are many people, we are still reading, there are many people who claim they love God but there is no love in their life. They don't love God and they don't love people the more the deeper and the higher you rise in god the more it translates to your love for people the bible says he that loveth not knoweth not god for god is what so don't tell me you know god just because you are speaking greek and hebrew and latin and aramaic no i look at your love life you may not have all the charismatism around ministry but i want to see your love life continue please nine in this was manifested the love of god towards us because that god sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him it's a long reading let's see how far we go hearing is love not that we loved god but that he loved us He's giving you the character of the kind of love he's talking about now. And sent his son to be a propitiation for our sin. Beloved, if God so loved us, please read on with me. We ought also to do what? Look at the kind of hatred, Ejimi, that is in the body of Christ. Among believers, I'm not talking of non-Christians. You look palpable hatred palpable resentment yet we keep writing books we keep saying we keep saying we love we preachers hate ourselves we have trained the members to hate themselves and everybody hates everybody a family of five people they hate themselves twelve no man had seen God at any time if we love one another god dwelleth in us that means i use love to show whether god is around your environment if you claim you came out of his presence if you claim you dwell in his presence and i do not see love the bible is saying you are lying because that god cannot appear so i will use love like you spray a perfume and some of you who have very strong perfumes when you pass the perfumes can it can show that you were around this vicinity or you are around that's it god says that love is like the aura that flows the epitome of his presence is love not power 
love not power the bible never said if you see power just know god is there it says that no man had seen god at any time if we love one another then god dwelleth in us and his love is perfected perfected full hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he had given us of his spirit we are reading to 21 it's a long reading and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world 15 whosoever shall confess that jesus is son of god and all of that next verse it says and we have known and believed the love that god had sent to us god is love he says it again and he that dwelleth in love dwell in god and god in him so joshua selman you claim you are spiritually matured don't just show me by the miracles don't just show me by the wheelchairs and crutches alone in the order of priority let me see your love life not your prayer life your love life many tongue talkers don't have any love in that praying in tongues there is even flesh in it very powerful song i'm coming back to that song hearing is our love made perfect that we may have the boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world 18 we're reading to 21 there is no fear in love ah look at this there is no fear it's not saying reverence fear fear but perfect love casted out fear because fear has what if my life torments you, you are, and you are not a demon spirit, something is wrong with me. Because my life should encourage you, should challenge you, but not torment you. There are people whose lives are a torment to others. There are pastors whose lives are a torment to others. There's no love there. Perfect love casts out fear. Because fear keeps people in a place of torment. There are people in church who cannot do wrong things and come to a man of God and say, look, I'm so sorry. I was in your house the other day and you noticed the bomb vita went halfway. Let me just tell you the truth. It was me. Because they already know. Say you. Okay, I'm coming. Let me just finish my prayer. Just wait for me. And the guy prays for hours. You are hearing him. He comes out sweating and says, sit down. What did you even say? And starts talking as though he was acting. He was acting there. Because fear hath torment. It says we love him because he first loved us. Two more verses. If a man say, Joshua Selman, if a ministry says, if a Christian organization say, I love God, and what? Talk to me. Hated his brother. He said he is a, did I say it? All scripture was inspired. All scripture that if joshua selman claims i come here and brag around and say the power of god is moving and i do not love a jimmy i do not love pastor alpha the bible says i am a liar and it tells you the reason why you are a liar so be patient he's explaining for he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen he says how can he love god whom he had not seen You have somebody that claims you are of the same family and you hate the person then you turn to god and say lord i love you you are my lord you are my rose of sharon lily of the valley john says you are a liar while praying liar while fasting dry liar while praying in tongues liar while on that crusade ground liar And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth God loveth him. have you ever been told that is a command it's not just a choice to love is a command the level and the extent of hatred that is in church is scary from we pastors men of god leaders we train people to hate people let me show you growth we can look at koinonia today 
and know our level of spiritual growth as a ministry not just by the power that flows our love life our love life everybody say my love life i see your growth by how much you love people i see your growth by how much you care about people you just hear that ah somebody lost something it's good for him he doesn't listen no 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 no. you are here okay what happened how can we help love i'm deep in love with you lord very powerful song i'm deep in love with you Abba Father, I'm deep in love with you, Lord. That's my confession tonight. That I'm deep in love with you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Listen, let me tell you this. One of the reasons why many people cannot flow in the anointing is because there is no love. Love is like a cleaner that cleans the valve where the power of God flows. There are people who the power of God can barely flow in their life. They pray like fire, but their hatred has clogged the passage for the power of God to flow in. One of my greatest desires is even the meaning of my name, the way to love. I pray all the time that God will keep my love life for people not just him I can lie and pretend that I love him but let it be shown by how I love people who is smiling because you are alive not just love I love you is not the show of love is one of the ways he said how many of you will see a brother listen carefully James was teaching us faith and works you are seeing somebody crying hungry and say oh I bid you Godspeed he said no Believers are not caring. This is where the orthodox assemblies, I doff my heart a thousand times for them. Pentecostal people, because we believe in life, when a member loses a child, everybody just goes, we don't want to be associated with that pain. We are life givers. Hallelujah. Is that true? And we leave the people to cry and we leave the people to go through all kinds of pain. But when there is celebration, oh, glory to God, we are happy. Everybody comes around. This is my son. This is my daughter, this CEO, this businessman who was promoted. I remember the night vigil when I prophesied to him because we like being associated with things that massage our ego. Jesus wept at funerals. He was not too busy. He was touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. When he saw the woman who had five husbands and the six was not her own. I know what Joshua Selma would have done. Madam, and you have not come for koinonia. What a stupid, lawless woman. But watch Jesus. The Jesus we are trying to become. I, I, we must make sure is this Jesus we are trying to become. Jesus goes to sit at a well and begins to converse. Is she so important? I mean, Jesus, you would miss crusades to talk with this supposed woman. He that dwells in love dwells in God. We have given Satan room to perpetuate hatred among us i'll not be surprised if there are people seated here in this place tonight that don't even see eyeball to eyeball they just hear the sound of one another good evening uh -huh, how are you and everybody just goes no spiritual growth i'm deep in love with you Abba Father. i'm deep in love with you lord we're deep in love with you, precious Jesus. We're deep in love with you, Lord. Hallelujah. The first, your love life, the way you love people. There is nothing more beautiful than seeing a human being who has value for life. That's why all these wicked dictators are going to hell if they don't repent, I guarantee you. They don't need any vision of anybody saying, I saw them in hell. That's where they are going to. If, if your life dehumanizes another human being, you are going to hell. I'm telling you this. Men 
are God's highest creation. Your life should never intentionally, listen to me, your life should never intentionally be the basis for the destruction of another. No. No. There are some of us, we claim we love God. We claim we are prayer warriors. We claim we are war giants. We are ministers, Apostle Joshua Selman. But people can never rise because of us. Someone comes to see you and goes back heartbroken and torn into pieces. Why are we like that? Just because the person did not achieve a task well. Are you this stupid? You mean it? You are doing it? You don't know who is talking to you. And then we feel say, sorry, brother, bless you. How are you? Ha -ha. Somebody just annoyed me. You are, you, are such an, you are such an idiot. You are a stupid person. Huh? Okay, bless you, bless you. Who are, who are you lying to? Don't laugh. Oh, I'm serious this night. Hmm. Look at some of our parents. On the way to church. On the way to church. Who are the stupid people inside this car? They didn't wash this car and they're on their way going. That's the man of God. He's going to conduct the service. As soon as he drives. Um, where is my Bible? <gasps> He's talking to his wife now. I forgot. Honey, I thought you were car. Don't honey me. You are a stupid woman. I always knew I made a mistake. After 17 years, you are still as stupid as you are. And then somebody just knocked and say, Ah, man of God, can I? Ah, bless you. Bless you, brother. No. The Bible said, let that man know that he's a liar. Let that, let that anointed man know he's a liar. Even with the anointing, he's still a liar. Love must be genuine. That doesn't mean people are not human beings. Don't just see anybody just pressing on you for something naughty and wrong you did. And just say, you see what apostle is saying. Oh. There are lousy people that deserve, deserve to be addressed in a way and manner. It's still love. Yes, still love. Love doesn't just, I'm, I'm saying this especially for we young people because we, we like being allowed to do anything we want to do, whether it's good or bad. No. He that loves you will chastise you. Chastise you. Can you say your love life is worthy of emulation? Can you say, whilst you are seated listening to me, whilst you are outside, those following online, can you say your love life as you are seated right now is worthy of emulation? Do you seek the good in everybody? There are people who are, is their whole life is, is like, it's like they rejoice over the pain of others. When they see somebody laughing, they say, well, why, why are you laughing? What is the laugh for? Well, I'm just, I'm just, just the glory of God. So what is there to laugh? Am I looking like a clown? How can your life be so sad like that? Love. I love people. I love the workers in this ministry. I love you with all my heart. Every one of you. Ask God. He will tell you. Yes. Yes. Let me see your love by how much you lay down your life for your sheep. Let me see your love by how much you can sacrifice. Not how much you use people. Do you know, there are times people sow seeds for me here. And I look at the people sowing the seed. And I look at the kind of seed they are sowing. I feel so guilty so guilty i'm fighting with myself some of you as soon as that seed is coming say, hey, why did you put it in an envelope how much is it okay seven is it nine or seven thousand say it's nine thousand sir say thank you father bless the person then you know that the the person's need is not even your concern just to receive i really love people with all my heart it's one of the secrets of my work with god i don't just love god i love people and I'm careful to use that word because it's true. You must love people. As a father, do you love your wife? Do you love your children? Are you compassionate? Many of us don't have compassion. This thing called compassion. The ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity, weakness, limitation. Say me, I'm not an emotional person. No. It's not about crying. You must not cry to show you are. I'm not, I'm not an emotional person in terms of cry. But anybody, the more you know God, the, the fortitude 
to forbear with people to understand with people must be there I remember one time someone just knocked my gate bang 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 and then I came I opened the door and I saw a woman standing wearing hijab and you know she was just asking for this I want I, I, I actually was sad because of the way she was knocking you know and then I looked and and I just saw tears that's it I just said no 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 what is what is wrong now and I brought out some money just put something and gave her and she went away you know sometimes children will just gather themselves like this I come and knock the gate and stand as if as if I ask them to come now when I see those children truly speaking I know what they are doing is wrong but how will you start beating the, you see the way the hunger ravage faces I have to just find something and give them because if I give them money I know they'll go and collect it so you give them something they can eat there and there do you have compassion some of us I don't mean to insult you I'm sorry if I do but you are wicked yes you are wicked it's not it's not it's not an insult it's a description it's a state of your heart you can watch people in pain and act as if it's, it's not my concern no you can see hungry people and come with one thousand naira change it buy food there eat the bones take minerals squeeze the leather throw it and say okay, i'm going for cordon now see we'll see now no you are not tender-hearted your heart is hard like iron the bible speaks about those people that he will replace a heart of stone say a heart of stone say it say it a heart of stone with a heart of flesh a heart of stone some of us our hearts are like stone someone calls you and says look something is not working well in my life and just look say, so how is that my business sorry sir they just threw me out of my house I, I, I just felt like sharing it with somebody even if you don't have house rent to give them can't you pray with them please let's be careful the way we treat people it is a proof of spiritual growth love love sometimes I'm tired in the night very tired I just try to stroll I'm strolling and I'm just seeing a missed call I can check sometimes 32 missed call one line and I just pick the call hello who are you and you hear the person say something silly is this apostle joshua selman he said man of god I'm, I'm privileged you are calling me by two what's the issue sir i have many things i don't even know where i will start from this guy 32 missed calls you would think someone is sick in the hospital but that guy just got up sleep didn't come you see so um, i i i i agree that men can be annoying let's let's be very honest here men can be very annoying except you are not a leader human beings they can be annoying with their ingratitude they can be annoying with their sarcasm they can be anno annoying with their, their 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 sense of cynicism and disrespect and dishonor yet the bible says that you love everybody say i choose to love say it again i choose to love say i choose to love i want you to stand up walk around to 10 people and just hug them and tell them i choose to love you for the sake of jesus christ some of you it's not for the sake of your bad behavior for the sake of jesus christ i choose to love i let go I choose to love. I choose to love. I choose to love. It's a decision that I've made. No matter how annoying you are, I choose to love. No matter how inconsiderate you act, I choose to love. It's a choice. I choose to love hallelujah God bless you please be seated God bless you please be seated let's settle down the second index to measure your growth is the manifestation of character character galatians chapter 5 let's look at the fruit of the spirit many of us don't have it you have the holy spirit but you don't have the fruit of the spirit galatians chapter 5 22 galatians 5 22 
but it doesn't matter what what perspective you look at it from we're looking at all nine of them the fruit of the spirit is love look at me now this thing we call the fruit of the spirit is the summation of what we call character character has nothing to do with personality i'm quiet i'm loud mm -mm. if the fruit the fruit of the spirit describes the habitation the atmosphere that produces character love joy joy brothers and sisters joy is not happiness if you don't have joy you don't have character every time we talk of character many of us just look and excuse ourselves in pride i'm not smoking i'm not looking for any man's wife so you think because of that you have character no sir joy 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 rejoice in the lord and let me tell you i know your joy when you are under pressure pressure is where joy is demonstrated if you are spiritual you just had that your phone that you bought 120,000 somebody just stepped on it and you are saying I'm going to kill this person I think well sorry we are human beings don't you make mistakes you too you are annoyed but joy everybody say joy joy you are there is that state of merriment in your heart for no reason they just tell you look um your mother's is um, health issue is getting complicated and you just say in the name of Jesus I'm happy joy 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 is in my heart some of the saddest people in the world are believers that claim they have the Holy Spirit watch them as they drive around the road watch them as they talk there's no joy you see unbelievers sometimes they even hear bad news and they just laugh it over and go and take beer and maybe smoke or go around and that's the end of it they sleep under the bridge by morning they get up and that's it but a believer ah. joyless life and you find out that you can't receive anything the bible says he that sows in tears he will reap in joy it didn't say he will reap with joy he will reap in joy the atmosphere that will bring his receiving harvest is joy if there is no joy the harvest does not arrive you sow in tears not with tears but you reap in joy joy is what calls harvests i know your spiritual life by how you rejoice even in the midst of pain you go to the board three carryovers god you disappointed me give me back the ten thousand that i sold in koinonia i gave project ten thousand i tied all of this the joy of the lord is that's what you see you come and you see your car they've removed something you kept the car in the market to quickly go and buy something and all these doubts remove all kinds of things they've removed one part of the light it can be annoying and you stand there and the devil is trying to tempt you and you know satan you will not see my tears i choose to rejoice a brother just walks up to you and says look i'm just announcing to you although we have done the traditionals something came up i will marry you again now don't lie that you'll be laughing so let's be human there's going to be pain but but this is where spirituality comes in listen this is where spirituality comes in you know that a man can receive nothing except it is given so lord i give you thanks and you just begin to say lord i thank you i give you all the praise i give you all the thanks and tears coming out of your eyes you don't hide it say lord i thank you ah brothers and sisters i show you a matured christian as one who produces joy in his life regardless of circumstances regardless regardless if i'm here right now and they tell me my house is burning let me tell the truth i won't be happy but to say maybe i won't be able to sleep this night me joshua selman no 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 way lord i give you praise thank you 
thank you that this house burnt and i did not die inside i give you thanks it would have been worse it is the mind that brought everything is still alive so i'm alive i've not really lost anything joy peace in this troubled world some of us don't have peace it's not just the word shalom are we together this peace you see is a revelation of the ability of god to be in control control my god is in control i need not fear what can man do to me i need not fear a great man in this country was kidnapped by assassins when they caught him they were about to kill him and they said look this and they looked at him he was restful very very restful and they looked at him they didn't know what to do with him he wasn't begging well okay 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 go out to the back of my wardrobe that's where the money is if it's the dollars check the other side mm -hmm. the guy was there restfulness we live in a troubled world you must have peace to survive most people don't have peace that's what causes high blood pressure there's no peace so they worry they worry about everything who will marry me i hope i will have a child though i hope i will have a house lord where will i settle will i be in zaria or this you are about to write jam yet you are asking god lord when i finish university who will be my wife what kind of worry is that he makes me lie down in quiet waters i receive grace to walk in peace you must receive it grace to walk in peace you are full of the peace of god people just come and say look hey the whole world is getting i mean the sun is going to hit the moon one object we don't know one ufo will soon hit the earth next week mm, i'm in peace great peace have them that trust him in nothing shall they be terrified great peace great peace everybody say i have peace say it i have peace say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry this this is the measure of maturity this is where the our orthodox circles beat us suppose pentecostal people hands down you will see a woman who had a car accident four of her children right there on the floor one no head one no hand and you see her singing a song crying but singing a song you try to stop i say no you people should not cry my children are in heaven this is the person who should be crying comforting you great peace our emotional world that does not trust god we are perturbed at everything i will give you a job tomorrow hey lord i thank you i call you by 1 a.m something came up that job is not oh god why are you doing this to me now stability restfulness my god is alive is god teaching us something tonight long suffering another word there is patience in our world of fast food quick tea fast uh, uh, what they call it indomie ready-made food there are other foods that just drop it put water and up you go we are in a rush we don't have patience it's led people into all kinds of things were impatient do you know there are people if only they were patient for one more day they would see the salvation of the lord in their lives you've been traveling just when your miracle is about to come impatience cheats you do you know let me tell you how to know your miracle is coming the flesh begins to become so uncomfortable it starts offering alternatives the moment this starts you were praying non-stop for two weeks just three more days it looks like you are praying for one year it's a sign that result is coming the devil is trying to touch whatever he can touch so you don't have the same power to remain and receive that i choose to be patient there are men of god who is impatience that drove them to go and collect power from sorcerers the power is not working now they have not experienced increase impatience some of our parents are in huge debt today because impatience did not allow there are young people today just be patient for one year and build no i must marry by latest by june they go and borrow 
1.2 million at at a 30 percent interest rate per month and they don't think well they just go and borrow it and satan satan you will use that money or health not even the marriage that's satan for you impatience has cheated our world of young people someone sent me a text i should pray that he must go to is this cyprus or where that he believes in the word of god upon my mouth that his mother is the one sponsoring him i replied him back i said young man your mother cannot afford your fees why must you go to cyprus he's already studied in nigeria he wants to leave it not that something is wrong this supposed let it be that me too i read abroad that gentleman now will allow the devil use him to yoke his poor mother to send him to cyprus or send him wherever it is that he was going i didn't pray for him gentleness gentleness the character that typifies this is the dove many of us were not gentle we miss out on everything because we don't have gentleness many of us are introverted so we think we are gentle you are not don't confuse your personality with the fruit of the spirit this is the fruit of the recreated human spirit in touch with the holy ghost that you are a quiet person there are people who they just look depressed it doesn't mean they are gentle they can be wicked and wild it's just that they are slow to doing it doesn't mean they won't do it gentleness the way you eat the way you act you knock on someone's door you are not you are not you are your presence is not inviting you are your approach to life is harsh very wild goodness goodness benevolence goodness not just kindness goodness a measure of your giving not just money the ease at which you release things to improve people's lives goodness not just giving faith or faithfulness let's go to the next 123 meekness meekness is is, is similar to humility meekness esteeming people better than yourself or at least not degrading people to rise temperance self-control 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 knowing when to speak and when to keep quiet knowing when to keep quiet even when you have what to say the bible says if a man err not in words that man is a perfect man perfection is not measured just by what you do but the ability to keep quiet do you know the level of spiritual maturity it takes to be silent when you have something to say a man is counseling you and is making blunders he's quoting wrong scriptures and you are very sound in the word yet you keep quiet oh yes daddy oh yes ah yes daddy and the man is quoting one scripture that doesn't make sense and saying something that is is a total waste of time honestly but you have the fortitude yes daddy at the end of it he releases a blessing every other thing was false except that blessing that one you can be sure you got it but someone ah, daddy sorry just to correct you <laughs> that verse is 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 is, is old testament ah, daddy you are getting old your memory and you you talk and you you are saying something that is so pungent and offensive and you, you say it's, it's how i am i'm very expressive character let me give you a few other scriptures we may not consider them for time's sake very quickly write this down romans chapter 5 from verse 3 to 5 let's look at that one at least romans 5 3 to 5 then i'll give you two others second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 please write it down second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 and then colossians chapter 3 from verse 12 to 15 colossians chapter 3 from verse 12 to 15 let's look at romans chapter 3 chapter 5 from verse 3 it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations knowing that tribulations worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope five 
and hope make it not ashamed because the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost he was talking about people sustaining the same power in times of tribulation can you go through difficult times and still give god the glory do you sustain the fortitude to not curse god like job's wife suggested he do and job said no no no, no. though he slay me yet will i trust him say amen number three the third index for measuring growth for a believer for a church for an assembly is god blessing you tonight is understanding 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 your love life character understanding hebrews chapter 5 please give us from verse 11 to 13 quickly hebrews chapter 5 from verse 11 to 13 it says of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered seeing ye are dull of hearing go ahead for when for the time ye ought to be teachers ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of god and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat this this guy is saying by now based on my investment in your life you should have attained a level where you should be teachers but you are still there struggling with the foundational things of the kingdom barren of understanding it says for everyone that uses milk is unskillful unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe no matter how long he has been in church no matter how old he is in age first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20 first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20 then we look at chapter 13 verse 11 quickly please first corinthians chapter 14 i meant to say 14 14 and verse 20 first corinthians 14 and verse 20 let's read together it's projected one to read brethren be not children in understanding how be it in malice be ye children but in understanding be men hmm. this is apostle paul for you this guy was really a man he said when it comes to malice and all these other foolish things and nonsense be children be children but when it comes to the issues of understanding the kingdom be men be mature grow there's too much childishness in the body of christ there are truths in the kingdom we must know your identity in christ is the foundation for your growth who are you in christ this is not just a denomination's perspective it is the order of growth because if you do not know who you are and who you are in christ like the book of ephesians opens us up to every other thing will not work well i know my positional advantage in christ my oneness with him that understanding is enshrined in my mind forever regardless of what i do i do from the standpoint of that understanding and then other ordinances of the spirit the bible talks of the doctrines of baptisms the bible talks of other things foundational things that must be in place the ministry of prayer at a level in the spirit you should not be taught the basics of prayer again that if somebody is oppressed they say have you prayed say no say pray now say okay didn't you know after how many years in church must you be told to tight all this coercing that pastors coerce people no time for the word you have to coerce people god has something to say you are, you are getting the attention listen listen and then the, the song is really working for them because they would not have listened what sort of a membership is that are we together you should have grown to the level where you have seen the value of the word of god do you know i'm surprised when i see people gisting and talking around when the word is coming it's satanic it's an attack because when the word comes it is sent the preacher may be preaching it but god is sending it the one thing satan supervises himself is the word the bad soil 
immediately satan not a demon he came and took the seed by himself everybody say understanding first corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11 paul again is teaching us you are not growing spiritually when your understanding is not measuring up with your supposed growth it says when i was a child i speak as a child so i can know you are a child through your communication i understood as a child you can look at one of these our little ones and promise them aeroplane and first thing in the morning they come to you with confidence believing you actually will get them aeroplane that's that's how many of us understand spiritual things the devil will tell us every kind of nonsense and we still believe it although you know he can't do it and you still believe it that's that's understanding as a child i thought as a child but when i became a man i put away including childish understanding what is your understanding like what do you know about god today there are some things the devil will never try to bring to my life with all humility i have gained understanding more than that there is no message on earth that will make me stop tithing there is, no 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 it's a persuasion this is not a denomination's perspective i adopted it's a revelation that has become spirit and life hmm. you see that there is there is no amount of revelation that will make my tomorrow less than my today no i've caught the keys it's been given to me hmm. koinonia will never never go down let me tell you it's, it's not pride there is an understanding that sponsors that position what do you understand today that gives you stability if i get a text now and someone says apostle just to let you know that tomorrow by this time you're a dead man what do i know that gives me confidence <laughs> i went to minister somewhere we're going to pray shortly i went to minister somewhere and a man who god gave them a miracle of a child there was a herbalist hey, Jimmy the herbalist made i don't know i can't get the full import of the story but there was some incantation and the herbalist vowed that nobody can break that whatever jinx and the rest and all of a sudden i was i was in that church and i prophesied to them that they were going to have their child now when i went back to mina and they, they showed me the child the child was there and the herbalist was dead i didn't kill the herbalist a mystery killed him A proud man who was taught by another ignorant man concocts a charm and claims there is no man remember people have made those kinds of stupid statements in the Bible shall these things be that even if God will open the windows of heaven ah God said me you bring me into the equation and act as if I'm, I'm one of your your rulers you will see it but you will eat of it they stamped that guy to death at the gate of where the breakthrough was Our stability in the kingdom is through our understanding I can give everything I have today and go to bed in peace because I know how it came I know how it comes I know how it will always come hmm. we can go and start koinonia anywhere that God grants us grace and this same result you see will be reproduced verbatim is based on understanding it's not luck what do you understand about God what do you understand about finances what do you understand about marriage what do you understand about the voice of god what do you understand about the anointing what do you understand about redemption don't just tell me i know mm -mm. it matters who trained your understanding there's something that you have been taught that makes satan such a big deal to you that your entire life revolves around just being careful and awareness of his presence there are things i understood about satan that gave me rest in my life it is true you can't be doing what i'm doing if all you have is anointing the devil will destroy you he will destroy you i assure you hallelujah if i'm sitting outside taking a fresh air and my eyes is open and i see a demon spirit pass i'm not going to say anything he didn't talk to me just, just go wherever you are toe and fro up you go 
I pity the spirit for seeing me because he won't be the same. I don't have to pray. You see that? Already that mission is failed for sure, at least for that day, at least in my presence. Now the light shines in darkness. It didn't say it shines in the night, it shines in darkness. Darkness is not a state, it's a person. The light shines in darkness, the prince of darkness. You cannot see the light and act like you didn't see it. No. I can never pray for you and your life remains the same. It's not true. Either the devil will attack you from that prayer or breakthrough will come. You will never be the same. That prayer will do something. It may increase the attack in your life because the devil is agitated that you came. Or it can bring breakthrough or something. Just know that you will not be the same. It's impossible. I believe this. I have been saying this thing for many years. If I were lying about it, you would see it by now. Brothers and sisters, I have been raised up with Christ. Truly, I believe this. It is not Kenneth Hagin's ideology. It is not E.W. Kenyon's ideology. It is the truth from Scripture. Far above. Bishop Oyedeko will call it a far above mentality. I really am above. Above occultic powers. Only God knows how many of them have my names now. They will call on my name like Baal from morning till night till every year and nothing will happen what do you believe about god what do you believe about yourself i believe i will never be poor it's not the issue of okay i like money or i don't like money i can't undo it the process has been ignited it can never be undone understanding i will have to undo everything i know it's too late this i believe koinonia will never go down no it's not the issue of let's pray that it was let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters i don't mean to be arrogant believe me there is a finger holding this ministry it's not standing upon space there is a hand mm. he upholds all things by the word of his power the right hand of god able to hold men and keep them standing when all is said and done to him be the glory standing what do you understand about your job what do you understand about favor what do you understand about prayer is god helping us these are the things that make us spiritual when i'm invited for a meeting what do i understand about myself about god about the anointing that will bless the people if you invite me for a meeting what do what do i understand do i know that i am a blessing if you know you are a blessing you are not going to meet any church member and tell him look i'm prophesying to you so twenty thousand naira to my life anybody that does that is not a wise man of god it's because you do not understand god let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me i can't claim i know everything about this god but brothers and sisters there are some things i know the more you know God the more you know yourself the only way to know yourself is in knowing him because you are a reflection of him here's what the Bible has to say the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 2nd Corinthians 3 and verse 18 it says but we all with open face listen beholding us in a glass not beholding ourselves beholding the glory then we are changed like the animals of jacob and laban kept looking at something and the children they gave birth to were after the order of what they were looking at the bible says as we behold him all i see in my life is the glory of god all i see in my life is the glory of god truly speaking this is not just some nonsense confession all i see in my life i am an expression of the glory of god all i see in my life i have made my eyes single like a flint to see the glory of god i see his faithfulness whatever does not work out the way i want god is up to something lord i see your glory i see the glory of god in koinonia don't allow satan alter your perception and see the world as negative and see everything as if the whole world is coming to end the whole world will not end by a crisis god will end the world he started it's not all this nonsense that people move around and say one one thing is coming to hit the earth it's not today before you were born it's been going around the earth 
there is the keeper of the earth the earth is the lord the landlord can lock his door and say it's over this time everybody say understanding number four the last index to measure your spiritual growth is the outworkings of the power of God in and through your life the outworkings listen it has to be in this order your love life character 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 understanding gain understanding understand the systems of the kingdom don't is is a risk to just walk around like that and then finally the outworkings of god don't tell me you are growing and then your body cannot become a host for the glory and the power and the grace of god no the bible says to grow in grace and to also grow in the knowledge of god i must be growing in the anointing you should be able to look at my life and know that last year this was the dimension in the spirit dimension in power and anointing and authority today this is the dimension i have seen people who have not backslidden but they've not grown either they have pegged themselves at a level the grace for performance is not in their lives talkatives talking all kinds of things the semblance of power but there's nothing to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom he said the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink but in righteousness and peace and joy in the holy ghost and then he says for the kingdom of god is not in words but in power the demonstration of power i should be able to see the power of god working in your life that a sister should be able to say look um i've been in koinonia two years what's the challenge let's agree father in the name of jesus we release your power over this situation and two days later this gentleman calls and says sister I don't know you but my goodness you are powerful you said something you made an utterance and the realm of the spirit responded let me tell you when the realm of the spirit hears you you are powerful it's true you are powerful many powerless believers prayer is not just power automatically prayer connects you to God it is God that gives power prayer does not give power People move around deceiving themselves that just because they are praying, power is coming automatically. No, sir. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian because a prayerless Christian has no contact with God. And so there is no um, release of power. It is not prayer that gives power. Prayer is like a rope. It connects you and God. It is you. God is the giver of power. Many people keep depending on prayer to give power. That's why they pray forever and never get power. There is no place in scripture where prayer should give you power. It is your connection with God. Prayer connects you to God. The same way faith too. Faith in itself does not give you result. The assignment of faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is the anointing that is the system of performance in the kingdom. Because we don't know these things, we keep confusing the things around. I believe in the power of God. My life is built on it i'm unapologetic about the power of god when i talk of power i'm not talking of falling down when i'm talking of power i'm talking of results results that can be reproduced that i can bless you i can program a climate of possibility upon your life there is an agency in the spirit that grants men access to do that do you have it in your life I know you have been falling down every week but do you have it can you say the power of God is working in your life we need power in this life not just for warfare a validation of the hand of God upon your life there are men of God who are powerless they just say I'm not calling to all these things I'm a slow quiet person it's a lie there's no gift of there's no ministry like that it's a lie everybody is called to be a demonstrator of the reality of God let me see the power in your life there is the power to get wealth where is it if wealth is not in your hands then the power is not there or it's not being used there is the power that brings influence there is the power that compels demons and principalities to be subject there is the power that heals the sick you don't heal the sick by desire it takes power to heal them virtue virtue went out of jesus not the apostles not the disciples 
changes are created by the presence of the power and the anointing of the spirit you are a blessing when you are powerful you are a blessing when you are anointed believers hear me if we truly grow in the spirit we should be powerful but look that blend of love and power on that that reminds me of the lion and the lamb dimension the lion is powerful courageous with an attitude and then the lamb sacrificial full of love you can't just be powerful alone and not have love no love should come above power character should come above power understanding should come above power if you have power without understanding it will not last and it will be misused it is understanding that coordinates the delivery the dispensing of power so that it will be it will be dispensed in accordance to god's principles i can have the gift of visions and not have understanding of the word and i can abuse that gift and destroy people power no understanding as we pray tonight i want to ask you a very serious question are these parameters working in your life can we honestly say as a family of believers that this is our experience can we say that our love life for one another and for men is ever increasing can we say we are growing in character as a corporate body are we kind are we loving can we forbear have we learned to tame our words have we learned to minister life to people or are we still priding ourselves with greek and hebrew words moving around and saying oh i gave a revelation somewhere i gave a hebrew word oh it's mimshak is is exousia is anakazo is this and, and we move and and nod around thinking we are growing we make a fool out of ourselves Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and I have not love, he says I am nothing. That even though I offer my body to be burned, though I have understanding of all mysteries and I have not love, I have nothing. I want to live my life and live my days having these four things in ever increasing measure in my life. That 10 years from now, you will be able to look at me and say this guy loves God and loves people more not that this guy has built several ministries he's become a global voice uh -uh. and enoch walked with god and he was not not that he built churches not an enoch wore suit he was a suit of one million and enoch walked with god and then character 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 the manifestation of the fruit of the spirit that somebody can insult you and say pastor alpha just to let you know you are the most stupid man of God I've met and you can read the text and say well it's just his opinion the Lord bless you and not be under pressure to reply him back and say I curse you now Jesus for you ah, what manner of man Jesus inspires me he truly is a mentor he's not just he's not just a father he's not just God when Jesus mentors your life, your life becomes a wonder. You will sit in the middle of all kinds of things and just watch life like this. Apostle, I'm suspecting you're a herbalist. That's all right. This is your, it's your opinion. Where did you get your power from? I've been suspecting you. No problem. You can suspect us. That's all right. A life of peace. Character. You can see somebody that offended you come pastor and he comes to meet you and like Esau and Jacob you are the first to hug him ah. and you can stand and say I love you with all my heart how is your ministry doing how is everything doing not that you see somebody going down and say <laughs> he insulted me the other day you will know that this 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 head has some of those things we watch people do be careful it's not proof of maturity. It's proof of foolishness. It's a sign that there is no growth. For God so loved the world, you must also love men. The more you become like him, the more you love men. I love people. You don't know how happy I am after the grace when our little children all run here and come and jump on me. Some of you are trying to clean my suit. What is the suit? Let them jump. They are teaching me something. The day these children become afraid of you, you should go for a retreat because it's a sign that there is a presence you are carrying that is pungent 
they don't have the kind of understanding that should ordinarily create fear something about your countenance which is a product of something in your head is translating to the fear of those kids this is how to live a useful life next time you say you are growing spiritually don't say it because they are inviting you for meetings now don't say it just because you bought a new car wonderful as it is you must take it in this order when you go back home now for you and for your loved ones take that test on a scale of one to ten what is my love life it's easy to lie that you love god but my neighbor my friends my people my roommate my nasty unbelieving roommate my fellow person in the department here as a worker do i love to see the good in others or do i rejoice when i destroy others where i'm tearing other people down do i derive fulfillment from it then you must go to god and then character can i say i'm a man of character can i say i'm a woman of character can i say i'm a man of character anointing takes you up character keeps you there there are people who don't have character that's why they went they will go to a man's church and tear down the people look for all the wealthy people seated in front in the church and organize a special meeting and ask them for money and ask them for whatever it is prophecy and you give money no character it's because a man of god does not have character that you go and bring another pastor to come and raise money for him and you are manipulating people and they are giving their all not willingly you will know they will not be blessed and the man is there when they finish they will now share it and pray over the money and lie that let it be used for the advancement of your kingdom number three understanding and number four the outworkings of the power of god if this is working in your life these four things and in ever increasing measure then please give yourself rest you are growing it doesn't matter which prophet comes to meet you and say jimmy i saw something two weeks ago you are not growing please tear that paper and throw it away and say thank you jesus i'm growing in love i'm growing in character because you have to be careful there are all kinds of people who will come to you day and night manipulating your understanding about spiritual things do you know how many visions and dreams I've gotten in my life? All kinds of things. There was a time I was sawing in the spirit so powerfully. And then came this five or six useless page text message by whoever I can't remember. I think we're organizing all kinds of things. I say I should be careful what I am teaching. Something about what I'm teaching. I just deleted it. I said, go away, please. It's where you don't know God. That I'm not saying you should be cynical. There are times that God can use people to caution you not that people just carry their ignorance crying for relevance and come and confuse your consistency with god and you go back feeling bad you are loving god someone just says i have a dream oh and in that dream i saw you you were standing like a madman by the roadside and you are believing that nonsense i reject it madman doing what by which roadside i am hidden in christ and Christ in God it may not be so for all of us but that's what I believe sometimes you may be the one who even had that dream yourself and you got up and say me naked in my secondary school I'm wearing pajamas shirt no trouser and I'm sitting in my secondary school it's a revelation of an attack in your life so what do you do as a believer enforce your victory don't complain don't send the text to head of department prayer uh, jimmy and do you know it's amazing how people the the same thing they tell you they tell him they tell every man of god just anybody they know and they say at least i know that up to 10 people are praying for me then they go to bed laziness 
you get up and say in the name of Jesus the spirit that wants to cause delay you saw yourself in an old building your former house Satan you are a liar the Bible says the part of the just not I want to move forward that's not prayer it is written that's the basis of your prayer the spirit that keeps me down I take authority over you I am risen with Christ I decree and declare that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper I have been called out of every tribe and tongue this is the believer walking your salvation with fear and trembling there is no level you get to that you stop doing this thing I'm saying you are too big to do it you will be too big to rise are we together now people send me text messages apostle I saw you having a plane crash I just sit down in the name of Jesus not me no way uh -uh. The plane was made of metals. The metals were in the earth. I was given dominion over the earth. It didn't say I'm giving dominion when I'm walking on land. I was given dominion. I don't just say I will arrive safely. That's not enough for me. I need to know the basis of arriving safely. Except that plane was made of smoke. If it was made of metals and I am above it, he that cometh from above is above all. If it will crash, I will not enter it. But if I enter it, is God that is in charge of that plane? It's not a generic belief, it's mine, it's my understanding. I don't believe there is any mortal man born of a woman on earth that can kill me. I don't believe I will eat poison and die. I don't believe it. It's only in heaven that will tell how many times I've eaten it. I won't die. Oh, no, no. I will not pray for people carrying communicable diseases and after 10 years they now check my system and find and find out that while I was praying for one the thing entered me I better go back and flog it out with God and pray on a handkerchief and say everybody come and touch it but if God tells me lay hands I must find out there has to be something in my life If Satan talks to me, I'll talk back to him. If I hear God, I should be able to hear Satan. I'm not afraid of hearing a voice. If Satan talks to me, I know he's the one. Oh, Satan, this is you. It is written. I shall not fail. It is written. I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders. It is written. I don't, ah, Satan, how did you get to my room? That's a foolish question. Satan came to Jesus. In terms of oppression, let them go. But in terms of uh, maybe Satan coming, let me tell you, it is possible that the higher you are growing, one day you will see him. Satan, real, not a demon. If you see him, nothing should scare you. He is Satan. There is a gulf between two of you, light and darkness. Just that your eyes see you close does not mean that's all there is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He shall keep his angels charge over you. They shall bear thee up on their wings, lest thou dash your feet against the stone. That's what the Bible says, that for us, the mountains surround Jerusalem. Right? So God has surrounded us. That's how I live my life. Are you ready to pray tonight? Can you say you are growing spiritually? For some of you, no. For some of you, no. And we are going to pray. Some of you are even leading groups prayer groups but you are not growing spiritually some of you are pastoring churches but you are not growing spiritually some of you are leaders of christian organizations you are not growing spiritually rise up on your feet and let's pray some of you have every man of god's message you listen to five messages per day and you convince yourself that just because you are listening to it you are growing no sir no sir lift your voice and thank the lord for what you have just heard tonight growth growth thank him lord we are here to grow we are here to grow tonight you have given us understanding tonight you have opened up the truth of your word to us we want to be matured believers not just church goers not just koinonia followers not just pentecostals not just christians we want to grow grounded and rooted in the truth make sure you are praying lift your voice and pray
Lord, we want to get our priorities right based on the revelation of the truth that you have revealed to us. We do not want to live our lives in flattery, deceiving ourselves, comparing ourselves with ourselves, getting the accolades of men and not growing by your standard. Hallelujah. We are going to pray four quick prayer points. Number one, Lord, let the love of God in me and let the love of God express towards my fellow men. Let it grow in ever increasing measure in my life. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of hatred, a wicked and a bitter spirit, the spirit that rejoices over the downfall of others, the spirit that makes me a naysayer, the spirit that makes me a sadist, I rejoice when people go down. I rejoice when things are not working well in their lives. I come against that, against that spirit. I declare that my love life is intact. Lift your voice and pray. I'm not only a lover of your presence. I'm not only a lover of your word. I'm a lover of your people. I love men. I love men. They are your highest creation. I love men. I love the brethren. I love the people of God. I love my fellow brothers and sisters. I will never be part of the destruction of anyone called by the name of the Lord. Pray. I love every ministry. I love every church. I love every Christian organization. I love and honor every man of God. I love with all my heart the love of God is richly richly at work in me in ever increasing measure hatred cannot be part of my life malice cannot be part of my life a divisive spirit can never be part of my life my love is communicated through words my love is communicated in sacrifice communicated in giving hallelujah Number two, you're going to cry and say, Lord, make me a man of character, a woman of character. Leave understanding, leave anointing, we're coming there. But cry and say, Lord, edit my life. Give me stability. Let me not destroy my opportunities because of lack of character. Lift your voice and pray. Character. And if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man. Teach me how to talk. Let the fruit of the Spirit take away the attributes of the flesh. Let the fruit of the Spirit be richly at work in me. Let me not sit down and conceive wickedness in my heart. Character. 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 Hallelujah. Number three. You're going to say, Lord, open my understanding and increase my comprehension of the truth. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I don't want to be attending Koinonia week in, week out. Attending church every Sunday, every Wednesday, every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Friday attending departmental meetings yet i'm not growing lord open my understanding let me have an exact comprehension of truth the truth that brings me to a point of victory lord give me the truth that works that will lift me up that will make me mighty exousia dominion authority on the strength of truth Ability in my life grant unto me truth open my eyes take away fear from my life let truth give me stability let truth give me prosperity let truth give me influence let truth keep me away from fear the fear of death the fear of oppression Shake up a racato, sabana, rabana, rabana. 
I cry for understanding illumination light understanding passion for the word passion for the word open down my eyes that I may behold one more state teach me something about Satan that gives me victory Lord teach me something about yourself Holy Spirit you are the spirit of revelation I receive of your ministry The last prayer point lord make me powerful listen you have to pray this prayer i'm tired of a powerless christian life no anointing no result your words are empty you touch somebody's head no blessing nothing about your life is what attracting people no no you cook food and people eat it no anointing you bless people you call someone somebody sows into your life and never receives any harvest lord bring genuine power to my life lift your voice and pray lord we receive power we contend for real authentic spiritual power 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 that produces undeniable results power to heal the sick power to cleanse the lepers in the name of Jesus power to speak into the lives of men power to change their situations power to enforce growth power to enforce prosperity power to save the lost that we become demonstrators of the reality of the life of Jesus Pray. send power to my family send genuine power to my church not just falling down and standing up authentic power that produces results authentic power where your words become like the word of God where your communications are greatly desired because your speakings bring life to men hallelujah can I add just one more prayer Lord bring the power to prosper in my life the power to prosper is not just about money it's the grace that makes things work it's called the power to prosper the pa if all you get from the power to prosper is money you have shortchanged that power the power to prosper is the power of performance there is a grace that makes things work lift your voice and cry lord bring this power to my life the power to prosper the power to prosper hey. the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper shake it like a the power to prosper the power to prosper ever increasing prosperity everything working the lines falling for me in pleasant places having a goodly heritage the power to prosper always working for my good the power to prosper When the power to prosper comes upon you in two weeks what will happen in your life will surprise you you will see things that have been locked up in the realm of the spirit manifesting the power to prosper it is God that gives it hallelujah I'm going to make an altar call now please stand everybody please no movement I want us to develop a culture of respecting souls are we together now most churches don't teach they take altar call but they don't teach members to respect it as a priceless miracle the next time you ever see one person coming to jesus christ please respect it not only celebrate them celebrate it remember jesus died for men are we together 
when you hear that someone's genotype was changed you clap you stand up you yell but when we say someone's life is about to change the foundation for true change is that someone meets jesus you don't know what their conditions are i'm about to make an altar call right now any of the overflows one two three and those following online listen you must be born again it's not a religious initiation it is the only way the only way to encounter Jesus the only way to begin to make meaning out of your life the Bible says for God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever that includes you that if you believe in him you will have so way his life that divine life a life that is characterized by victory wherever you are you have been coming to church you have a Christian name you have never given your life to Jesus or you are in the second category you've given your heart to the Lord but your ways are not right with God and you're saying apostle haven't heard you tonight I'm not only not growing but I don't even think that I'm, I'm retrogressing but tonight as you are making this call I want to run to Jesus unashamedly whether you are in overflow one two three for those at overflow three for time for the sake of distance you can just walk to the front of your projector screen but for overflow one and two and those in here please make your way quickly you belong to any of these two categories while we are clapping for you please very quickly we have just a minute or two wherever you are god bless you someone has to be coming someone has to be coming to jesus wherever you are don't allow anyone stop you this is the beginning of a life of grace and victory koinonia celebrate them they are coming by the spirit god bless you god bless you for the courage god bless you god bless you jesus is truly the answer for your life god bless you sir they are coming are you clapping for them coming from everywhere you are saying man of god i want to start afresh with jesus this is a family that loves you we will never condemn you there is always a new beginning for you make your way to the front quickly make your way to the front i perceive that someone is still thinking about it and he's saying apostle i'm not sure if i should come if you are not sure make your way quickly join them join them very quickly join them very quickly join them very quickly hallelujah praise the lord listen gentlemen and ladies i salute you you don't come out to receive an award as though you are going into a prison cell the way people come out to receive salvation sometimes of course i understand sometimes you, it can be a very emotional um, thing but but many times you know people are ashamed who is looking at me what you are receiving is greater than any check what you are receiving is greater than a degree is greater than a certificate is greater than whatever it is so I want you to be very intentional. Some of you are rededicating your life, some for the first time, doesn't matter what category. Just lift with me your right hands, please, and just say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart, overflow three. Those online, please follow. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. Thank you for loving me. Tonight, I have heard your word. I want to love you and live for you and grow. Therefore, I receive Jesus into my heart I declare you the Lord of my life I declare that you are my Savior I accept the gift of righteousness I accept your love I accept your forgiveness from tonight I declare that I'm a new creation your life is in me victory is mine in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted Lord I thank you for these precious precious people that you died for they have made these declarations and Lord according to the integrity of your word I declare their sins forgiven in the name of Jesus I pray that tonight begins to be for you the best days of your life the Lord himself will keep you in the fold he will guide your life and he will make you a sign and a wonder I decree and declare that every legal access that the devil has over your life is hereby broken now and forever in the name of Jesus I welcome you into the greatest family the family of God in the name of Jesus thank you very much now please follow the lady waving her hands all of you this way just follow the lady they will lead you somewhere and communicate some more for you please let's appreciate them dearly beloved 
I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Kata Pakotosko to break a take and let a car. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.